Now, the Humvee is not armored. Most people will be like, oh, Humvees are armored. No, they're not. They're not armored at all. A bullet can kill you in those things. That thing over there is medium armor. You can still die in it from bullets, but, you know, it'll protect you a whole lot better than a fucking Humvee does. That striker there, well, it's a striker. Bit of a, yeah. It's a bit combustible. So if you're in there, you're probably going to die. And that thing over there will probably protect you against almost anything in the world. All right, let's see what we have here. Fucking, let me join this group so I can know who. Except angry Germans and just lightning bolts. All right. Look. Look here. Where is the yellow dish? He's over to the left here. Yeah. Hey, look. It's probably AFK. Look is not here. Okay, we. Hi. Would you want to sit in that thing if there was an RPG around? Nope. Would you want to sit in that thing if there was an RPG around? Just your point. No. Uh, that one. one. Would you like to sit in an Abrams if there was an RPG around? Sure. No. No, the trick question is you don't want to sit in anything if there's an RPG around. You want to kill the RPG before you want to sit in anything. <laughs> Alright, that's basically... Basically, that thing is armored, yes, but it can still die. The whole point of a vehicle is, if there's an RPG, you're in danger. The very first thing you need to do is eliminate the dangers that fucking, you know, put you in danger of the vehicle. The very first thing as a gunner or a commander is to always look for uh, targets that can kill you. So D-30s, RPGs, another tank, anything really. That is your first priority. Even if there's a friendly in front of you, it doesn't matter. The first priority is to kill the thing that can kill you. Because you're sitting in a very big expensive thing, and if you go down, you lose a very big asset. Even if it's just a Humvee. That Humvee has an M2 on it. That's a 50 cal. That can shred for a lot of people. The point I'm trying to make here is it doesn't matter how heavy your armor is, you always want to kill something that can kill you first. Because you sit in a very expensive thing. Alright, pretty much. that's pretty much it. Uh, the second thing we're going to go through is we're going to go through target identification and the difference between friendlies and foes. Now, you see a whole lot of Russian vehicles here and a whole lot of American vehicles, yes? Yes. So, yep. Yeah. Alright, TNT. Yep. What is that thing to your southwest? That over there. Jeez, I have a name. It's a, it's a T-33. Everyone see how that thing looks like shit? Yeah. That's how you can tell it's a T-55, because it comes from the 60s. Terrible. You never want to be in that thing, it's slow, the gun is shit, everything about it is shit. But it's still a tank and it can still destroy things. Uh, ADT, what's that to the right of the T-55? Uh, I have no idea to be honest, it's one of the T-series. Probably not a T-70, I think that's the one further to the right. So I'm not sure what that one is. We almost had it, that's a T-72. You can tell oh. because it's a whole lot uh, lower. Like, the whole thing sits a lot lower, and it's a lot more angled. It doesn't look as round, so you can can absorb a lot more damage, too. Uh, blind. What's that? Uh, is it a T-80? That's a T-90. You can tell because it has eyes. Everyone see the eyes at the very front? Oh, yeah, it's seen. Yeah, that's how you can tell it's a T-90 without having to look any further, because the T-90 is very advanced. It can pretty much take a lot of shots. From anything, really. It doesn't matter what you have, a Carl Gustav, a Moors, a fucking tank. A T-90 can take a lot of pressure. Uh... TB! Yes. What is that? What Russian tank is that over there? I'm pointing to the northeast. Russian? Northeast? Yes. What the Russian Challenger, tank but I don't right. think that's Russian. Alright, good. Trick question. You got it. Alright. Those are basically some vehicles that you might encounter. Obviously, if you're on Blue 4, you don't shoot a Challenger, because that is British. That usually means that's on your side. Uh, who do we else have? Frax. Yo. What is that thing to your northwest? Uh, that'll be a BDRM. A BRDM, yes. How much armor does a BRDM have, Frax? Um, it can sustain uh, normal gunfire. Uh, well, that's all I really know. Is weakest points of the wheels. Yes. One grenade launch around, and that thing is a sitting duck. It looks like a duck too. So, there we go. Quack. Some TBS as well. Alright, someone give me a difference between a diff okay, between the one that's to the left there and the one here on the right to the north. What is the difference, anyone? Wheels. One is an armored personnel carrier, the other is a light armored vehicle. Correct. That one is tracked, that one has wheels. Very big difference. Mm -hmm. You can shoot wheels. You can also shoot tracks, but it's not gonna do much. A BMP is a pretty big fucking target because your bullets won't do much. A BTR, which is this thing, 
can actually die to normal bullets. As in, you can shoot out its wheels, the crew will dismount, and you can shoot the crew. Which is an armor thing. Usually in real life, you could still use a turret, but uh, that's how you disable a BTR. A BMP will require anti-tank, or another tank to take it out. Because it is tracked, it is mechanized. Technically, a BTR is mechanized too, but it's light mechanized, and it only has wheels. Uh, and someone tell me the last thing, uh, here to the north. Bodnik. Four wheels. Bodnik. Bodnik, correct. Also an APC, technically, but very lightly armored. Has two machine guns on top. Very deadly to infantry, but anything if you have anything that sort of takes out a BRDM, you can take out a Botnik as well. Sometimes it has one of those big guns on it. Yes, you can have a big fuck-off 20mm on it, which is very scary. They, those exist as well. Alright, yeah. those are the basics of, you know, Blue 4, Op 4, that sort of shit. Mostly Russian, mostly uh, American, that sort of stuff. That's usually what we run. If you're in a tank, usually you'll be sitting in that thing there. That's an Abrams to the southeast. That's what we use. That's what the uh, Australian Defense Force uses. Uh, soon enough, we'll have an Aslev 2, right, Monty? Yes. And you'll be able to use the Australian IFVs. But up until then, we're going to concentrate on the Abrams because that is what the Australian Defense Force uses a lot, and that's what we'll use a lot. So if you're in a mission, it's very likely, and the mission has tanks, it's very likely you're going to be sitting in an Abrams. All right. Does anyone have any questions about any of the vehicles here? Does anyone not understand what they are, what they look like, how you can identify of these vehicles? I'll take that as a no. All right. First things first, we're going to go for some basics. Does anyone here know what hull down means? Yes. Yes. All right, Dolan, tell me what hull down means. Hull down is where you have the main block of the tank. So if you look at the T-72, uh, anything below that turret in a safe position by using like deflate or a building or something. Sandbag. Yeah, Correct. but does that, is the turret still above it or is the turret below the cover? Uh, the turret would, blow, it would be turret down. Correct. Turret down means your whole tank is concealed. Meaning nothing can, or nothing should be able to shoot it. Obviously if there's something in the air you can still get shot down. But hull down means that you have a lot of cover but you can still shoot. Turret down means you can't shoot, but you're completely covered, as in, you're behind cover, nothing in front of you should be able to shoot you, because you're behind the cover, obviously. Does, anyone ever, does everyone understand the difference between hull down and turret down? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, yep, just yep. so you're all aware, hull down is also, is also a way to uh, call hull down turret down, uh, turret up. Turret up just meaning, obviously, the, the opposite of turret down, meaning your turret's still above the cover, and you can still shoot. Turret up, or hull down is usually the best fucking thing you can have for a tank. Being most of your body's protected, but your turret can still shoot targets. That is the very best position you can be in, and you should all strive and try and do that every time you sit in the tank. Everyone get that concept so far? Yeah, man. Uh, yep. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna do some contact calls in a vehicle. Uh, we're gonna fly through this because I'm, I understand most of you probably know how a contact call works, but it's a bit different when you're in a vehicle. Uh, does anyone here know how a contact call works in a vehicle? Yes. I'm ahead, familiar Monty. with it. The vehicle, the front of the vehicle is in the front of it is always front. So you can say contact left, right, a lot easier in a vehicle. Quarter left, quarter right, but you to give the same indications that you would infantry. So what it is, where it is, how far away it is, not necessarily in and around that order. So it would be contact left 400 meters, T72 behind hill. The left would be left of the tank, not left of where you're looking, left of the vehicle itself. Or yes. use clock directions, preferably. Yes, you can either use clock directions or front, left, right, but it always goes from the hull. So whichever way the hull faces is 12 o'clock. Obviously, 6 o'clock is the back of the hull. That is very important, because a lot of people, they sort of look and go, yeah, it's up front, but then they sort of look to the left, and then no, no, no one else in the tank has any idea where that contact is. Um... We're going to go through a quick sort of... I'm going to teleport us all to the uh, fucking tank that I've got out there. And we're going to split it up into a quick teams. So we're going to have drivers, gunners, and commanders. So everyone needs to be in a team of three, basically. I'm sure you can all sort that out between yourselves. Organize and we're going yourselves to go... now, guys. Do it. Yeah, organize yourselves into teams of three. BG. And we're, we're going to start... Into, um, separate uh, yeah, make sure... Uh, guys, if you can, if you can, don't go with your friends. Try and take an oh. applicant or a recruit or something. You know, just... 
Yeah, try and try and like. Hey, uh, the road, you are gonna come with us. Hi, team. You've been assimilated. Ah, yeah. Welcome. Not getting squished by everyone. You're a set of three. You're in a group by yourself. Not exactly, but JC. No. So you guys are a group by yourself. Yes. Oh, you need to actually make a group, of course. Alright, you guys are a group by yourself. Yep. Fucking spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should guys, I ungroup and then join? Okay, the same group, a big mess matter. of people here, sure only a group of three. Yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll collapse on our own group. Two of you. Uh, Want me to stay? Three of you. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, stay. Okay, okay so that group, uh, Wraith group, on, stand on Wraith. Rather than being all spread around. There we go. My group's ready. Guys, you're going to get teleported. I want your group standing in a group of three. I don't want people clustered in around each other. Faith Acid, do you have three or two? Just two. Yeah, is there anyone left over? Dean is here. Dean. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Locate the group of two. Join my group, Artie. And we. Which is them? Yep, same. Is anyone right. not in a group of three? What color? Yeah. Heck fucking tacular. They're so white. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna teleport us to a location. Uh. Where there will be an Abrams, and from against. there we're going to practice some contact calls. Alrighty, and no one cares what colour you are, because it's three of you, you're in one vehicle, you all should be the same fucking colour anyway. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong tank. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Gentlemen, separate off into your groups, just behind me, go. Drax, McCready, to the northwest. Just behind Monty is to the west, guys. Party, do you want to join on me? They're all on the same group. I'm sure you can all still hear me. You haven't run far enough away to not hear me Broke because you won't be able to hear Jaeger, and that means you get shot. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so I want one group to go first. Hi. I need a tribute. Hi. We will be tribute. Go. Do it. Yes. Rest of you gather around so you can hear what they're saying. Everyone put yourself on yelling. White one, blue. Yeah, good idea. Alright, Skyf and group stand next to this Abrams. Pretend you're in the Abrams, obviously don't go in it. Wait, teleport to here. Ah, uh, yeah. I was in the commando. He's sitting there. Yep, yeah. just get in the vehicle. Ah, uh, no, don't don't get into the vehicle yet. Oh, no, Chippy coming blue. Vehicle. Uh, blue is there. Okay. Many thanks. Alright. So, have you sorted out which one of you would be the driver, gunner, and commander? Yes. Alright, so your gunner, I want your gunner to call out a target. And I want everyone else in your group to either say seen or not seen in relation to this tank. As in, the hull it's facing, and I want you to tell me exactly where the target is that you're looking at. Uh, tank, 300 meters front, slightly left. Seen. Seen. Alright, correct, perfect. You know what type of tank. That is very important information, because people sometimes say, oh, there's a tank there. But then a BMP rolls up, and that's not a tank. That is a, well, not a tank. It's a lot less lightly armored, and a very different thing to a tank. Any Without idea what optics, tank that is I think it's the T-72. Correct, T-72. Next group. As etc. rotate out. Wraith, Acid, Dean, go. Alright, whoever, which one of you is supposed to be the gunner? Oh, the next target. Yeah, I can be you want to sort it out before here? Take a next target and uh, go over the floor. Just pick oh, any of the vehicles out there. There's, there's quite a few vehicles out here oh, on range. Sorry, hang on, my draw distance is... Okay, Commander. Okay, I'll, I'll spawn something a bit closer then, hold on. Alright, Creedy, you go driver. Probably a good time, gents. If your draw distance is very low, it's probably a bad idea to be in a vehicle, because you do need to see crap out that far. Yes, hey, that is a very, very, very important thing. You need to be able to see at least 1.5 clicks or 2 clicks. That is a very standard thing. You should be able to see that. Yeah. Contact, tank, half right, to 300 meters. Same. Same. Alright, do you know what type of tank? No, I haven't, I haven't got optics. Fair enough, like that T90. T90. Yes, correct, T90. Okay, next group, on the right side of the tank. TNT, CB, Rogue, next. On the right side of the tank, guys. Trade of HA. The other right, guys, right side. On the right side, not the left oh, side, yeah. the right side. Yep. Alright, Gunner, call out a target. Preferably not one that's already been spotted. 
Roger. Contact, half left, 300 meters, tank. Okay, that one has been spotted. Try a different target. Ah, uh, it has. Sorry. Contact, front, far, BRDM. Correct. Well done. Next group. Spectacular. JC, etc. Go. Right side of tank. There's also targets to the left and the right, boys. You don't need to always look front. Up to you. You want to do it? Keep rotating forward, guys. You got to keep yeah. moving. Not seen. Okay, Tank. did anyone else hear that contact call? Turn no, yourself negative. on yelling, gents. All of you, turn yourself on yelling. Now, in a tank, you have an intercom, so that's not necessary. But for the purpose of this training right now, just put yourselves on yelling. Alright, JC, try that again. Contact, three. Front right, 400 meters. Unsure of vehicles. Okay. You're not sure what vehicle this. Always go with the worst type of vehicle so that the commander can be sort of, you know, prepare himself. If you think it's a tank, say it's a tank. Yep, tank. Okay. Alright, good enough. Next group. Yep, left side of tank. Can you next lot? I'm driver. Look around, guys. There's also targets to the left and the right. What do you want to do, Jesse? Yeah, I'll uh, call out. Uh, yeah, are oh, you going to call out? Yeah, I will. Contact, 3 o'clock, 200 meters, BRDM. Seen. Seen. Who's going to call it out, you or me? I'll, I'll do it. I'm yeah, now, as Copy. he just said, he used the 3 o'clock, which is fine. Every tank has their own system. you got to work out what works for you. Some people like saying front, some people like using the clock system. Some people just like using northeast, northwest. It's all fine as long as everyone's on the same page. Make sure you know what your crew is using. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of confusion and you're going to die. All right, next group. Oh. Left to right. Left. Of a clock, T90. Close. Yes, correct. As you all would guess, in a tank, close and far is a lot different than for an infantryman. For an infantryman, close is somewhere between 100 and 200 meters. For a tank, close can be anywhere below one kilometer. As so you're all aware. Alright, next group. Go. Oh. So you want to go ahead? Go for go it. On. Alright. Tank behind. 300 meters. Correct. Same. That is a very dangerous target. In that case, you would yell, danger close, danger close. That is one of Same. the worst situations you can be in. That tank is behind you. It's aiming at your rear, where the armor is the weakest. Not my ass. Anyone else Basically. need to go, or is it all the groups? I think that's all of that's it. them. Yeah, that's it. Alright, awesome. That should be fine then. Okay, you all did pretty well. I mean, it's not that hard as contact calls, but it needs to be done so you're all aware how it works. Remember, any system works as long as everyone knows what you're talking about. It's, it's very good to stick to one system throughout. If you just go, if you go to a, what's a tank and you say tank northeast, fine, everyone will know where it is. But the second time you see another tank and you say three o'clock, all of a sudden everyone has to shift their system. Obviously, that's not a good idea. So try and stick to one system at all times. All right. Uh, that was a breeze. That was a lot quicker than I thought. Diego. Yes, go for it. Um, so whose responsibility would it be to look behind the tank? Is it commander, gunner, or what? The gunner should always look front if he can help it. Obviously, sometimes there will be targets to the left and right, and that's the gunner's responsibility. But the responsibility of looking behind left and right is the commander. The commander needs to be aware of what is around the tank at all times. The gun should always be facing the way the tank is driving. If you're stationary, the, tr uh, the gunner can obviously also look around. Does that answer your question? Understood. Oh. Jager, it's probably also, I don't know if you guys want to do this, but when the, when you're not in contact, it's always good for the commander to be turned out because of a lot more field of vision. Negative. That is not that is not what you should do. If you're in a combat environment, you should never try and turn out. If you have no, 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 to... No, no, I said when you're not in contact. 
when you're not in contact, you can do whatever you want as a commander. But if you're in an AO, it is very ill-advised to turn out. Because if you turn out, a bullet can kill you. And if the commander goes down in a tank, the whole tank basically becomes unoperational because there's no link from the commander to the actual zero alpha or one zero or whoever's in charge. So as a commander, yeah, your that. first priority is to stay alive. Everyone got that? Understood. All right, Roger. we're gonna get we're yeah. gonna get into some basic driving skills now. We're gonna use uh, I'm gonna teach you the whole left hand down, right hand down, all that sort of crap for a few minutes. Now I know that everyone can drive a vehicle here. But it's still important that you know those little details. So we're gonna get teleported and we're gonna start driving some things. Don't move guys, don't move until you're told to. <laughs> oh. Early. Uh, TARDIS noises. TARDIS noises. TARDIS noises. Yeah. Alright. Does everyone see these tanks? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. In your groups, split yourselves up and go into the tanks themselves. Set up your long ranges as well. Let's go. Fucking... CB. Okay, it's Commando. Okay. Oh, once you're in your tank, give me a radio check. Yeah, you want to use your commander. Yeah. Oh, we've got an extra. Yeah, Fuck. Can you hear me? It. CB. Uh, Jaeger, we're going to have to swap Acid around so radio. Bluey actually gets a chance to do something, unless you find it. I don't think there's enough tanks. Bluey, you can take my spot with Wraith and Acid if you want. Let's yeah, go far. I'm yep, sort of busy okay. doing stuff anyway. That was good one, man. If, if you can hear me, so yeah, that tank right there. Oh, it's all the green, just up here, man. Back. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all. Uh, Gunner, don't turn the turret, please. I'm taking out at the moment. Sky Scoop, long way to check. Hurts, go. AT radio check. Artie, Heard radio AT. check. Heard Artie. Rogue, radio check. Heard Rogue. Thrax to a radio check. Heard Thrax. Alright, all tanks, we're going to practice movement, as in for the drivers. It's very simple. Left hand down is turning the tank okay, to the left. Right hand enough. down is turning the uh, tank to the right. Can you Forward, hear the language? And so on. Negative. I want every single tank here to move forwards and start practicing going left and right. So, when your commander tells you right hand down, you're going to turn the tank to the right. If your commander tells you left hand down, you're going to turn the uh, tank's fucking tracks to the left. Now, drive forwards, uh, make sure you're not on top of each other, and start practicing some driving skills. Stepping off. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Just leave. See ya, bitches. So, right hand down. No, don't roll the tank! <laughs> sure every driver understands the concept of left hand down, right hand down, left and hand down. You tell me to stop left hand down and go, or what's going on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. We're just setting up the radio stuff, man. Hold on. Right you don't need a radio. You have an intercom. Forward. This tank has a speed limiter. All right. Let's turn us around. Left down. Left hand down. Alright, all tanks, once you're confident in your ability to move the tank, line up in exactly the way that you just were, in front of this base. <laughs> Alright. Do you remember where we parked? Yep. Because <laughs> I do AKA, line up in front of the base, facing west. You're gonna fucking get in now. Yeah, do it now while you can. For the other boss, let's get it. Just sit on Don't the uh, boss in front of this shit, yeah. So you can just fucking spin this thing on the spot anyway, so it's fine. Alright, 
Now remember you're sitting on a mobile platform, as in you're in a tracked vehicle, meaning you can turn on the spot. Get an order after this to go forward. <laughs> Play right at the Valkyries as we go. Well, that's the wrong spot. <laughs> that he fell out. The laser rangefinder sits behind my Shack Tank icon. <laughs> Does it? That is, is that unfortunate. Girl? I don't know. Rogue Tank, where are you going? Just teaching my driver how to turn the tank around. He's new. Act that. What's that other fucking guy doing? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Crack shot tank, you're too close to your neighbor. Copy that. Rogue tank, you're too close to Skype. Move left a bit. Don't. Don't point the gun Don't at the other tank, Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you want to look around, you can use third person, remember? You can use third person in the Rogue tank, we need proper spacing. We don't want one tank to go down with another tank. Please move a bit left. That. Third person just feels like cheating. Oh, it's good at vehicles because you don't get the fucking... Mate. Tell you what. You can get him in the driver's Swap seat. Swap it into the driver's seat for me. Okay. Now that you're in the driver's seat, tell me how third person feels like cheating, eh? How much can you fucking see? Bugger all, but let's face it, yeah. the whole point of a tank is that it can't see the infantry sneaking up on no, it. No, the thing is, a tank has three mirrors. One to the left, one to the right, one in front. Can you look at the other mirrors? No. Exactly! So you have no ability to see left or right at all. All tanks, have a look to your left and right. All you can see is your Spacing, direct front. Sure you're not too That's close, bullshit. Not too far either. Stay in formation in a line formation. Uh, it's very there's similar. There's at least one yeah, Cups tank that, yeah, that yeah. I think has um, prismatic lenses okay, so you get wide view. It's very similar to an infantry line. Nice. It's says tank right, line so should again. always move as one. Oh god, if you're moving no, quick in a formation, swaps. you should never break formation. If you break formation, you can get singled out and you can get shot. Oh, all right. God, no. All tanks move forward 400 meters. Stop and look east. All right, off you go. I don't know how far 400 meters is, but I'm sure you can figure that out. Uh, I've got a decent guess. All tanks hold. Hold. This thing doesn't right, have a handbrake. We're out of formation. This I'll needs to happen at the same time, guys. Right now, you're all over the place. Everyone. Move forward until you're in formation with the lead tank. Which is us. <laughs> well, I'm limited to 28. That's cool to watch there. Fucking... Tanks rolling up on one another. I'm gonna... Pay yeah, more attention the this time. Tank. The lead tank in this case was Skype's tank. You're all in line now. Alrighty, I'll be giving the orders for this little brief bit while Jaeger gets himself ready. Lead tank for this formation is Dolan's tank. I say again, Dolan's tank, which is also the middle tank. Middle tank is lead. Tank formation, 400 meters forward. Weapons aimed west at end of movement. Go. You can see which one's Dolan's, right? Yep. Yeah. The one just in, just in front now. That looks cool as shit though. Oh, one of them just veered off to the no. side. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, we lost one. Oh, no. Alright, you're breaking that formation up, Acid. You're, you're dropping well behind. Hold that warp factor 6 key. Gentlemen, you're just going straight forward. You don't have to have wavy lines all over the ground. Hold movement, form line, facing south. Weapon south. Weapon south, so gunner, turn left. The line should be facing south, kid. Alright, let's move around. No, this is forward. CB white one, TNT is outside of the tank. Yeah, so left a bit more, left a little bit more. Yeah, yeah I'm doing a nice round. Tanks, round that aren't being held up. ADT, get into that line. 
Dolan in the line, or Dolan has hey. been acid in the line, JC hey, in the line. Why are they going to drive you in the fuck, line? Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Repeat last order, sorry. Right, you need to be forming a line facing south on Dolan. Line is left to right, left to right of me, move south. TNT, scroll wheel on the left hand side of the tank, and go gunner. Alright, we good. There should be plenty of space for anyone else to sneak in. I think there was one of the tanks between us and him? I don't know. That doesn't seem perfect, Jason. <laughs> I want it to look good. I think it might be one too close, but I don't know where that other guy's supposed to be. Oh no, no, we're right. That other tank doesn't know where he's going, but this will do. <laughs> he's going for a draw, right? Be advised, when you are moving, you need to say your commander's name and saying tank is moving. You need to keep up communication because that is one of the most important things as a tank. You need to communicate with your other tanks. If there's no communication, you'll fail. You need to have communication. If you don't communicate, you don't know what's going on. If someone else doesn't communicate to you, you need to remind them. Keep the communication up, guys. Alrighty, Tank Brigade. Skyth is considered lead tank for this. Say again, Skyth tank considered lead right. tank. Tank, <laughs> I want you to return facing east in a line, my formation. Skyth tank is pushing forward and then left. Follow us. Just try and give him plenty of space to sneak it. Dolan tank stepping off. Hardy tank stepping off. Uh, all tank all tank left, off. all left. Speed it up a bit. Because they're the ones on the inside that could take longer to get around. Tank scene 085 on the skyline. Column, slow down. Oh, line, slow down for the outside tanks to catch up. That's them. Acid tank, stop moving off so far ahead, mate. Understood. One of you guys is moving too far ahead. Come back in the line. Alright, let's speed this up. Let's go. Thrax stepping off. Let's go, let's go. You're breaking the formation. Sec uh, second from left, or third from left. Dolan JC, too fast. Line hold. Too slow. What the fuck right, is that you can see on? what happens if you get too fast or too slow, because acid is now slowly creeping into line. If you're engaging a hostile tank unit at this time, you would have a big empty hole in your line, so you'll be getting focus fired. So one of you will be getting two on one instead of one on one. Really important that you need to move as fast as the rest of you. If you're falling behind, you can say, Acid, falling behind. And Skyth can say, all units aside from Acid, slow, etc, etc. Anyway, I need a line facing north. Uh, can't confirm towards the base or to the left of the base? A line facing north, facing me. Alright, turn us around. Sky tank turning around, moving to the left of front tank. That's the tank reversing, moving to the left of front tank. Let's go. Oh. Are we going to start to left, left of front tank. We're like the uh, fifth in line, so we have to go pretty far. All right, push us right. Commanders, Traxxas if you have a tank. driver that's new, please remind them they can use third person. Very handy in a tank. All right, let's just line up with the rest. This will do. Gunners, okay. remember that your turret should always face the front of the hull. And we're back good. ADT, who is your driver? Uh, I guess he is driving. We're just confused. We thought we were, we were the pivot point. Act that. Reference any confusion like that. You have a radio. Talk quickly. Ask. Alrighty, dismount, stand in front of your tanks. Line.
Even turn off the engine like a smart man. Something you might not know, blind. In any tank, if the oh, there is somebody in the turret seat, on one seat, then the engine is running. Because the engine must be running to be able to operate the turret. You can sit it still. Like it won't, the engine won't turn yeah, on, but as soon as you move so, it, yeah. Just the slightest twitch on the mouse, oh, yeah. <laughs> and the fucking engine will turn on. Run faster, run faster, get to Jaeger. Alright, did everyone see how difficult that is to ha keep a line up with tanks? Yep. Yeah, it's yes. pretty hard. Yes. It's very hard. It's a lot harder than doing an infantry movement because you're sitting in a 60 ton big of fuck off gun, alright? That thing is huge. It takes a lot of, like, stopping power to stop a tank. Um, drivers, you'll notice that going forward is slow. Stopping is slow. Everything is slow in a tank. They're big and they can do a lot of things, but movement is not their strong point. You need to be on top of, like, on top of your driving if you're sitting inside one of those things. Take a question. Another big... Yes? Um, so for when it comes to formations like that, if we were, were operating with t two or more tanks, should we state on the radio what the speed limit is so we know how to keep in line? If there is a speed limit, lead tank or 1-0 will dictate that. If there is no speed limit set, you need to stay in formation. That means you look at the tank to your left and to your right, and you establish whether you're too far behind, too far ahead, or just right. Understood. Otherwise, if there is a speed limit, obviously it will be set over the radio. Another thing that we need to uh, quickly establish is communication. All of you need to communicate with each other. The tank on your left needs to do what the tank on the right uh, needs to know what the tank on the right is doing at all times. Obviously, you can look at the tank and see what it's doing, but it's handy to just have that verbal con uh, confirmation. Now we're going to do one more thing with driving, then we're going to move on to gunning. I uh, just before uh, you do, Jager. Yeah. Um. With the driving part, because I'm a newbie here, yeah, oh, look at me, it's cool. Um, well, with your drive and you start off, you push your, you're pushing W, um, shouldn't you just start off slow, then work your way up to the speed, or...? Like I said, it depends on the lead vehicle. If the lead vehicle is driving fast, you need to catch up. If it's driving slow, drive slowly. It's up to the lead vehicle to decide what is happening. Roger. Typically, the lead vehicle will say, oh, you know, move forward fast. Shift W, because that's sprint or fast movement. Or move forward slow, control W, because that's slow movement. Or just W is normal movement or combat movement, whatever you want to call it. So okay, that's the cool. three you can do, or you can do the delete key lock for actual speeds. But I, I'd highly recommend, and I forgot to mention this to you before, Jaeger, go with normal, which is just W, fast, shift W, slow, control W. Yes, exactly. Those are the basically, if someone says slow, you control W. If you say normal, just W, and fast like Monty said, shift W. Now, for this next thing, we're going to have a lead tank, and they're going to make the decisions. Acid. Yep. You're going to be lead tank for this. You're going to decide where the tank group goes. I want you to complete a few basic movements, and then back here at this base facing west. I'm basic, so basic movements is, you know, going forward. forward, left, right, whatever you deem necessary. Yep. But I want you to end up at this wall here, and then facing west. This wall right here, facing west, will do. Alright, everyone back to your tanks. Back to tanks. I want again. Go, go! Fucking run! You can the run rebels really are fast without any gear, huh? Go, go! Oh, I'm not excited yet. Go on, tank, ready to go. Sky tank ready to go. Party, green to go. ADT tank ready to go. Tanks, 400 meters forward, north. Let's go. Forward speed limit, forward, north, let's go. 18 kilometers an hour. 18, 18 is speed limit. Oh, slow down, hold on. TNT left getting yet. the gunner. Front left hand side. Good. Dolan tank slow down. Everyone 18 kilometers an hour. I can't actually speed limit to 18. Push the lead. Yeah, it won't oh. lock in that slow. That's right, you'll be right. Just keep up with the others. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You push us left a bit, you're squishing the gap for the other tank supposed to go in. Okay. So, pull left, oh no, they're going around us. <laughs> okay. 
turn them even more left, because these guys are fucking veering left heavy. Acid, what's going on? Sorry, driver of issues. Which one's Acid's tank? I want to say the third from the right. Tanks, halt. Halt. Uh, halt. Driver, halt. Push us back on line with Acid. Guys, line face west. Acid west. tank moving. Oh, God. Don't tank moving. AZ tank moving. So we have to go very tank far. moving. See this. Rogue tank moving. And... Let's hold up here. Yep. Scuff tank in position. Unless you want us back there on you guys. So actual tank in position. in the middle. Down tank in position. Uh, Party tank in position. Forward 100 Jack meters. In position. Forward 100 meters. Or forward 100 meters around there. When you lose the area, guys. Push us left a bit, you're a bit closer to the tank on the right. Yep. No, I'm just, just going to listen to you. I'm going to sit in first person. Alright. I'm assuming the... Down tank is falling behind due to heal. Uh, Thrash are falling behind, getting in position. Okay, we hit increase the spacing meters, yeah. on the right, guys. Increase the spacing on the right. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright. Slow down, Lead tank, hold. Everyone down, hold on that lead tank. Stop. All tanks, line facing south. As of tank moving. Oh god, where are they going? Go on tank, moving. Alright, push As of tank moving. Thraxor tank moving, A tank moving. And then keep going, keep going, push us left, left, left. Slow us down, left more, left more, left more, left more. Rogue and tank stop. moving and sit. And adjust us to the south. It's a lot harder when one person's guiding and the other person's actually just driving. Go on tank, position is good. AT in position. Thraxor in position. Party in position. Sky 3 to go. Tell you what, my frames would have gone up significantly though. Nothing on this map, that's why. All tanks are no, forward. Between uh, 400 meters. Forward 400 meters, let's go. go. Act stepping off. Oh yeah, tank. of course. Well, you can't see anything. Party stepping off. Yeah, exactly. AD to acknowledge. Thraxor stepping off. Rogue back. How am I doing speed? Asset, this is AT. Uh, what speed are we traveling? So a little bit. Push us a little bit right. Left, sorry. Get a bit closer to taking the lead. All tanks halt. Halt. Just line up with the guys in front of us. So move I up. Can't. Move up, move up. Move All up, tanks, up. Uh, line facing east. Asset tank moving. Move up, move up. Here you go. Dolan tank right. moving. Party moving. No, they got a turn. tank moving. I push left, left, left. We want to face east. Roger. And then Do push the water towards they stop. We are way out in front. And stop, stop, stop. No, they're still far enough, far left. Say again? It's all good, it's all good. Sky thin position. Acid. Um, as a tank position. AT in position. Don't tank Rogue is in, in position. Party in position. All tanks hold line formation. Track RTB. In position. Once you get to the wall, face west. Alright, let's go. RDB. Push, push us left a bit. Thanks for stepping off. Don't as stepping, stepping off. off. Just so we can uh, neaten up this line a bit. Alright, oh, east, east. Push us up a little bit. We're falling behind. Only, only a tad. Not enough for it to break the line, but enough that I'm worried about. Is that better? Yeah. At the stone, confirm you want us facing west upon yeah, arrival. Slow us down. Hold. Slow us down. Hold. 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 All tanks hold. Turn us around. All tanks 180 facing west. All tanks, this is 
Euro Alpha, once you face west and you're happy with your position, dismount and on, get on me. Uh, Asset, can you move right of it? You're crashing us in the between us and Southern Tank. No, you're not gonna move. Alright, push us out. West. And go north. North, 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 north. Sky, halt, halt, halt. Mate, you had to crush us, crush us in between two tanks, I couldn't get in there. We're readjusting to sit on the other side of the line. Tank in there. Alright, east. And then you're on line, turn us around. Face, yeah, west. And that's it, let's go. Shut it out. Right, let's get back to the others. It was very good at the end. The beginning was funny. Yeah. We'll have right. feedback at the end of this. Yep. Alrighty, gents. As I said before, I would like you all gathered in your groups, so we can pick each group as it goes. Excellent. Come on to you, Mr. Line. German. All right. So there's a few notes I'd like to. Someone turn off the tank, please. Whatever tank's still running, whatever crew left the tank, I'll, I'll find turn it. I've <laughs> already turned off. Like, alright, here's the first. Uh, here's the first thing. Uh, feedback. Fucking turn off your tanks when you <laughs> stop. That's the. That's probably a very. Uh, oh, that one. Normal thing. My bad. Yeah, you go. Yes. Might want to note that um, drivers should be the last to exit the vehicle so that they can ensure the engine turns off. I don't really care who exits the vehicle last, that's the commander, that's, that's if, not my problem. That's if the, the gunner problem. touches his mouse at all, the engine will turn back on. Yep, yes. that's still the commander's problem. Exactly, the commander needs to make sure that his tank is in position, off, and ready to go, or whatever is needed of them at the time. Alright guys, here's a few notes. Obviously the beginning was a bit meh, but you guys did get there in the end. Obviously, everyone. the line never has to be perfect, it wasn't, but it doesn't need to be. The only thing that you need to make sure is, if you're in a line, that you can shoot forwards at a 45 degree angle and you won't hit a friendly. That is very important. Everything else is sort of secondary. If the line is a little bit not perfect, that's fine. That's not a big deal. It's the same infantry. As long as you can shoot front and then you can pivot, that's the, that's the biggest thing. That's Excellent. all you really need. Uh, a few notes there was uh, a few times we saw, for instance, Acid's tank behind JC's tank. Very bad. You don't want your gun facing another friendly's tank's rear. That is very, well, that's not optimal. That's not a very optimal space to be in. And I do realize it's hard, so I'm not having a go or anything. No one no one here has done anything glaringly wrong. It's just that there's some small bits and pieces like that. Uh, some really good things was uh, when Dolan, for instance, when he was falling behind, because he was on a hill and tanks are really slow on hills, he was telling Acid that he was going to fall behind. That is very good. Keep that up. Uh, you know, follow that example. That way, you, that, that way the lead tank knows what's happening and he doesn't need to ask that he's aware at all times. Uh, another thing that might be helpful is not to talk over each other. I know I said communicate, but that means not talking over each other. Lead tank always has the first word, and you always need to listen for what he or she says. So, if the lead tank is giving you orders, and you're all talking to each other saying, I don't know, uh, ADT's tank Left. stepping off, Acid's tank stepping off. If you're all saying that, and the lead tank needs to give you an order, not that great. It's better that the lead tank, in this case Acid, it would be better if you would have said everyone step off now, and then everyone would have known and everyone would have stepped off at the same time and wouldn't have to give you feedback on it. That would have been that would have been the best way to do it. Obviously I didn't tell you that, so you didn't know that, but now you do. And that was just sort of a yeah, that was something that I noticed. Uh the spacing was on good. That, yeah, what's up? Uh so um basic infantry and tank and any form of communications, as soon as you hear the radio click when at the start of transmission like this. Anyone else hear him? I can't nope. hear him. Yeah, can't negative. Hear him. Can't hear. Okay, so when you hear the radio click when someone transmits, you don't speak over it. Um, the only reason to step over it is that if your message is way more important, like T-72, 300 meters. So like a break. Optimally. Yes. So you don't just go, oh yeah, go on stepping off. And then when I start my transmission, Peachy goes, oh, Peachy's tank stepping off. Like, we're both as important as each other. We need to let each other speak. 
and you know acid might be transmitting, like Jaeger said, and I could miss vital information and die from it. Yes, exactly. A- additional what additional point for you all. Insofar as your actual radio transmissions were concerned, the only reason you stepped on then is because you went things like, oh, uh, random person, Thrax Jewel's tank is uh, now stepping off. But the best way to do it, and that's why I keep saying this short, concise, to the point thing, is just go, Monty, stepping off. No, it's my tank, because I'm in a tank brigade and I'm talking to you, so you know it's me. If I'm saying Monty stepping off, it's my tank moving. Keep it short like that, so you take up as little time as possible. So that if it's only a short movement, the tank platoon commander can then say, all tanks halt, or halt, so everyone stops. Keep them nice and short and sweet. Pretend you've got a character limit on the old school mobile phones or something. Keep it short as fuck. Yeah, basically that, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure all of you understand the concept. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you're not all that dumb that you don't understand what I'm talking about. It's just that putting it into uh, practice, that's the hard part. And that's why we do these sort of trainings because, I mean, it's very unlikely that we'll get 10 tanks in one mission. I mean, who knows? Maybe. As I might be feeling a bit dangerous one day. But the point is, it's still important to know because there might be another tank in a mission. There might be two tanks. And sometimes you need to move in formation. And one of them is a lead tank and they need to take control. That's just some of the things that can happen. And that's why we do this. Uh, okay, we're gonna get to the fun part now. We're gonna shoot some shit and we're gonna blow it up. Um, yeah, can I just say one thing, mate? Um, yes. The lead tank, like, you know when it's like, you know, turn east or whatever, should they be saying pivot east or, like, long sweep east or something like that? Because I think we're getting a bit confused. I, I didn't have any comms in that tank at all, by the way. So if you are confused, party, but... if you are confused, you have a long range. You can't say, they tank. Do we pivot on your lock or do we move forward or something? I don't know. You, if you need to clarify something, you can. That is why every tank has a long range, so you can communicate with each other. If there's something like that happens and someone doesn't know what's going on, the lead tank in that case should say everyone stop and then clarify his previous commands. That is basically what needs to happen. In this case, it would have been helpful if Asset would have said pivot on my lock. In that case, his le- if, he, if he would have said, if these tanks here, if you look, if you look at these tanks and the way they're lined up right now, if the middle tank would have said, pivot to the south, then all the tanks on the left would have to reverse and be on the, le- on the um, eastern side of this middle tank, and all the right tanks would have had to move forward and be on the western side of the tank. That is the ideal way to do it, but if you're moving forwards and still doing it, that is also possible, in which case the leftmost tank needs to stop and all the other tanks need to catch up. That is up to the commander, though, and he needs to be very clear in what he wants and what he doesn't want. Everyone understand that? Or is that a bit meh? Understood. Nah, yeah, that's all good, yeah. Alright. Uh, we're going to get into gunning now, which I'm sure everyone enjoys here. But we're going to talk a bit, uh, we're gonna talk a bit uh, like about what you know, sort of happens in the gun and whatnot. Now, in an Abrams, you do get thermals, uh, which are very helpful. But a lot of the times, a lot of gunners will stick to their thermals, don't ID their targets, and have sort of tunnel vision, which is very bad. So the first thing I want everyone to know is, if you are in thermals, make sure you switch out of thermals and actually look at the thing with color to make sure that you're actually looking at an enemy target before calling it and that sort of stuff. Before we get into any of that, um, let's get into the, like, the different rounds and whatever. If you were a gunner in that tank, you would have noticed that you had different ammunition, yes? Yeah. 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 All right. Does anyone here know what HEAT stands for? High Explosive, high explosive anti-tank. anti-Tank. All right, does anyone know what a High Explosive Anti-Tank does? It, it punches through armor. That's sort of cool. In, in heat, theory. What HEAT does is, in real life, HEAT is designed to penetrate oh. an armor's, uh, a tank's armor and kill the crew inside. That is what HEAT is supposed to do. That is very poorly modeled in armor, mainly because High Explosive shells don't kill the crew inside, they kill the actual tank. Um, does anyone know what Sabo is? It's a yes. uh, submunition with a wrapper which falls off as it fires and then goes faster and penetrates better. Yes, it is basically a dart that, fi- uh, that flies very, very fast and penetrates almost every single armor. Does anyone know when to use Sabo? Sabo? Against tanks. On facing. Against tanks, correct. Would you use Heat or Sabo against a T-72? Sabo. 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 Always Sabo. Heat does not do well against other tanks in armor. That sucks, I know, but that's just the way it is. When would you use heat in armor, boys? In armor, Jiggles? 
Yep, exactly what Blue said. A BMP or a BTR. If they're sort of armored, but lightly armored, that is when you can use heat effectively. The explosion will still take out the vehicle, but you're not wasting one of your valuable Sabre rounds. Additionally, a lot of tanks have HE. When would you use HE, guys? Infantry. 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 Infantry or very lightly armored vehicles, like a Humvee or, you know, a BRDM, that sort or of shit. Ural. Exactly. That's when... Eight, structures as well, yes. If you do see a structure that is fortified, you can pop an HE in there and it'll basically nuke the whole thing. Does anyone... Does everyone sort of understand that concept? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Basically, basically what I'm trying to tell you is don't be fooled by the naming. Heat doesn't do what you think it does in armor. Uh, if you if you find a T90 and your gunner loads heat and then shoots that T90, you're going to go for 10 shells before that thing explodes. And I'm not joking. We're going to test that out in a second and you're going to see what I mean. Now, we're going to get into the tanks, not yet. When I say we're going to all go back to our tanks. And I'm going to spawn a T72 for every single tank to shoot at. I want every tank to only shoot heat. Everyone understood that? Yep. Yeah, understood. Yeah. yeah. Copy. All right. So get your gunners, get to your get to your tanks, and we're gonna gonna have a short demonstration of what we're gonna do. Okay, be the driver. Yeah, I'm gonna go, man. I think we're just gonna be shooting. CB, gunning or commanding? Gonna be trying to take our tank, motherfuckers. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck away from our tank. We're over here. Wait, why is somebody in our tank? We we swap spots, remember? TNT, other tank. Heat loaded. Direction, this tank's ready. Contact, direct front, close. T72. But is it active? AT ready. What is it? Party at the ready. Active. Good question. Does every tank have a T72 uh, in their sights? Fucking good question. Don't confirm. Don't see any exhaust. AC confirm. Party confirm. CB confirm. All tanks on my word in 3, 2, 1, fire. Fire. <laughs> one really delayed one. <laughs> CB, what did you gonna shoot? White one. <laughs> I just jumped in the third person. Mistakes to be made. So is CB's tank gonna replace his target? And we all get to shoot it? CB, any confirmation? I believe you fired a Sabo. Everyone dismount your tanks and get on me. Everyone out. Okay, engine's off, good. Only has Sabo and M2. Not heard. Yeah, don't worry about it, I was gonna say something at long range, but I'm gonna get everyone to come here first. That was a pretty crazy dismount. Too, like. I have that fire right there. <laughs> Pretty yep. nice. Well, there's a Alright, so. Nah, we'll wait for Dino. We'll wait for Dino oh, and TNT. Can we kill off the TNT tanks? go back to them? Yes. Right, That's what we're waiting for. McCready. Someone oh. McCready's McCready's right. McCready's right. Phoenix, sir. What the shit? Are you blind? <laughs> when you Hipster lose, is a kind of puzzle. No, All right, he's, guys. he's in the tank. That is actually. Oh. Okay, um. I, uh, I mean, right, right not really what right. I wanted, but this is a very good explanation or demonstration of what a difference between Heat and Sabo does. Sabo, one round, just shot that T-72 to shit. Everyone see that? That yep. thing Same. is burning. All the Same. other tanks are up and running, and I'm looking at them right now. They're still all operational. The crew wouldn't have dismounted. They would have shot back at you, probably with their own Sabo, and you guys would be in a very bad spot. Now... For the next thing, it's still gunning. We're going to, I'm going to teleport you guys back to the one where we did the contact calls, and we're going to practice gunning at range. Abrams are very nice in the fact that they auto range their cannons. Does everyone understand how auto ranging works? Yes. Does everyone know how to range binoculars or range finders if they have one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. No. 
a lot for most people it should be tab figure out what your button is for ranging now figure it out now before we get to the next part does anyone know what oh. your actual option is called because mine hasn't worked since my profile corrupt yeah. well, weapons hey, hey, dollar. what's it under dollar. Dollar. Is it uh, wait break scout's got me uh have you changed your tfr uh, options lately tfr uh, controls Probably Looks not. Like Alright, yes, if you... I know T uh, gets um, over, overwritten by, uh, by that shit. Don't ask, don't so tell. if you look for... I, the I think it's first the base oh, alternate yeah. is set to T. If you turn it off, it made my fucking lock-on shit work fine. So give that a go. Okay, so shortwave transmit additional. Yeah, so it yeah, should be set to T. I'll change that. Laser range, is that it? Laser range. Hmm. Uh, Just like, see if that fixes it first, it may not. Like, Change it to that macro. Um, but I found that uh, because I was testing out my uh, lock-ons with uh, like stingers yeah, the other day and it only worked yeah. until after I'm done. Question, I'm down yeah. I break. Question? While moving, uh, is there a way to lock the gun in position so you don't have to keep like adjusting your mouse every second and a half? Adi, I believe you just answered that question. Control T. Give it a shot later on if you allow us to. Control T. All right. A lot of these controls, bear in mind, are vanilla. If you've changed all your controls, they will be hidden in the Ace um, Vehicles section. If you scroll through Ace Vehicles now, you'll notice there's a lot of things in there. Play around with the controls, key bindings, figure out what ones are. Alright guys, we're going to teleport back to the previous location for the contact calls. We're going to go for each group once. Every group is going to fire on one target and use the right ammunition. If you don't use the right ammunition, your target will still be alive. If you do use the right ammunition, it'll be a burning wreck. AKA, use the right ammunition and your target will be gone. Then the next group comes in and shoots the next target. Everyone understand? Understood. Yeah. Understood. Right. Good. Everything wrong. Uh, don't we have? Don't move, gents. Alright. First group, get into that Abrams. Yeah, I guess it's gonna take a while if we have to you know, do it. Maybe drop the acid. second tank in so we can at least do it twice as fast. Have fun. No, it'll take a while because everyone's gonna see what everyone else does and be able to pick up problems and solutions before they Brave do it. Blowy. Yo. Okay, this is, on, guys, this is the last big part. So after this, we're gonna talk a bit more, but then we're basically done. So don't worry about it too much. They're gonna disappear briefly. And yeah, after this, we'll fire up the bloody LRM things. So you can shoot shit in the face. Exactly. I'll, I'll be mm. disappearing, Egg. I'll be right back. Face yeah, shooting. Tank ready. Egg. Yeah. Tank, make sure you're on long range. Long range 50, correct? Oh, look. <laughs> Oofed. Acid? <laughs> call sign right, for this is this Tango is gonna be 1. Some over pressure. Yeah, that's tell why me, it's good back. Tell me if you've acquired a target, tell me what the target is, give me a contact call, and then let your gunner fire the correct round. What the hell is running off in the distance? That's Dean, just leave, leave him alone. 16. Teabag him. Over pressure. Now we'll be right. I said I'm here. waiting. Yeah. Don't move backwards. Oh Stop god. Moving the tank, acid. Stay where you are with the tank. This is just a gunning exercise for now. I would suggest everyone push south or you're gonna get fucked up by that over pressure. Ah, you have a point. Now that they've turned the gun oh, yeah. around, you're gonna get fucked if you're in front of it. Hey guys, I'm out of is... Sweet Mary ass. I didn't hear a call. <laughs> you won't hear a call, you're not in the long range. Fuck it. Nice. Alright, did everyone see what he did wrong? I moved. moved. Turned the car. You can call it over the radio. Okay, first of all, the tank is the car, over the radio. Second of all, I, saw, I asked for a contact call over the wrong range, then shoot. I need you to tell me what you're shooting at, I need you to tell me where that is from your hull, oh. and then I need you to tell me what round you're using. Understood. Alright, next group. Alright, Thrax, let's do it. Too late, I've already gone. Off you. What'd you say? You were too slow. Too slow. If you want. Get into a line, boys. Also, uh, fine. Online. So we all don't have line. <laughs> Fuck the line. So yeah, okay. Here, um, well, be more ah, fuck yeah, I'll give it a go. In the vehicle, you do. What yeah, else? Yeah, but if they Dolan, contact, you know what we should do? I want to shoot up. We'll swing the gun 180 around and hit that tank. <laughs> to overpressure everyone. So dickish. Just fart on everyone. 
Hey, yeah, you go. Yeah, yep. Might be a good idea to get them to use the short range so everyone else can hear it. Yeah. yeah. Hipstar, are you on this lit net? Uh, I don't know on the same short range or not. Alright, set your short range to uh, channel 1. Everyone else you will do the same, and then you can do it over the short range. Copy. Yeah, okay. 3.6 Fifty, fifty, fifty. You can see Gunner, Heard, Channel 1. Good, good. Sorry, Radio, 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 Gunner, contact, yes. tank, Gunner bearing right. zero six five. Four degrees if you think it's accurate. AFIRM, have visual. Load, save a round, fire when ready. Me too. When you pick Oof. Target, tell me too, so I can point the Ready to fire. Fire. Under the turret ring. Gunner, fire again. Oops. Boink. <laughs> Just hates it. it bounce rounds, fuck. Ricochet. Gunner, fire at the turret, not the base. Positive hit on turret. Orange. Gunner, fire again. He's not gonna run ahead of him. Hey! Gunner, target destroyed. Act out this map. Marseille, bro. Marseille, bro. Awesome. Why am I touching myself? Alright, boys, before you go, hold on. Hold on, Jiffy. Okay. That was Sabo. Did everyone see what those rounds did? They ricocheted in there. They ricocheted. A lot of armor is, well, dangled. And that's exactly what that armor is supposed to do. If you get shot and you have angled armor, there's a very good chance that that shot will actually bounce up and into the air or somewhere else, which is not where you want it. Anyone know where the best location is to shoot a tank? Uh, the ass ass side. Ass ass side. The turret ring. The turret or the ass. That's where you want to shoot a tank. The front armor is the heaviest, and the you know that's basically you can probably never penetrate that in the first shot. What he did there was very good. He told him to fire again until that target was eliminated. Now I'm gonna reset the ammunition for this pack, and I want the next group to go in. Good job, guys. Scott's group gone. We, you want to take uh, gun? You are too slow. Oh. Uh, yeah. Make sure, guys, make sure that the most inexperienced people are getting on the tank gun. Wow, look at these Yeah, Tansy, hey, that's you. You got any recommendations for <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> they fucking rattled without me. What? There's a lot of The ultimate bully technology. Oh, yeah. Remember, guys, yeah. contact calls, load the correct ammunition, and then fire at will. Target, 129 degrees from the, uh, from the tank. BMP. Scene. Loading heat. Load heat, fire when ready. Shit's dead, boss. BMP down. Great shot, this map. Everyone out. From the look of it, it hit the ground and then That's bounced what I into thought. the underbelly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Dying drama. Wait, wait. Yes? Is your gunner ranged that target? I have no idea. Who was your gunner? It was blind. Oh, was... How do you Line. Make... Yes. Line, did you target? press tab and range the target? There you go. No, I pressed T and raised the target. Got a range finder on the... Um... Uh, okay, that's okay. fine. I don't... It doesn't, doesn't matter located. what your controls are, but as long as they work, up, they work. Up. What happened there was you shot short. I love you. Basically shot the ground, <laughs> the round bounced up into the BMP. Now it was still a kill, so yay on you. Hey, you have to. It's still 9.30, yeah. But it's overall, just trying to do a trick shot. Overall, when you range a target, give it one or two seconds for the cannon to adjust. Alright, next team. Heck. Uh, let's go on a trip. On up shit. <laughs> yeah, you go. Yes? Let's be special. Hit the uh, question shot, from mate. TNT no. was... Yep. What are the names of the rounds in this tank, and what do they correspond to? Name, okay, so Sabo rounds in tanks like these yep. are usually called something like APFSD or something along those lines. Yep, that's the one. Those are the Sabo rounds. They're, they're called like that because they're, they're well, it's a long story. BDRM, 70, 7 degrees. Hold fire, tank, hold fire. Alright, I'm gonna do this, oh, I'm gonna do this over the radio so the tank can hear as well. Basically, the question just was, what are the tank, uh, what are the rounds called in that tank? The way it works is, every, not every tank, but a lot of tanks have different names for their rounds, but they all correspond to either HE, HEAT, or SABO. 
Sabo in an Agrams is called something like AP something SFD, whatever. Uh, heat will usually be called Heat, and HE will usually be called HE. But just so you're aware, if it's very long and it starts with an A, that's usually a Sabo round. Everyone act? Ack. 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 Alright, tank. Call your targets. Uh, fire at will. Gunner, 77 degrees, BDR I'm and low key, fire at will. Stabilized, discarded. Did you say that, Tinsy? What a mouthful. Gunner, he said HE. He said HE. Confirm, said heat. Also, don't have HE. That's awkward. <laughs> Gunner, fire. Gunner, fire. So I get. Okay. Oh. Oh. What was that? Uh, so oh. I get. Reloading. Hit. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, it'll, it. it'll either be Rogue or me. Crew this man. Should've, probably should have. Right. Everyone Harry. see that it took it a second Ow. for that thing to blow up. Bro, yeah. Same. Yes. Don't, if obviously if you have a load, you be just uh, have it very often. But some, if you do, uh, in the neg area to fire at. What? Wait, what? <laughs> like some uh, degrees. Oh, like degrees on a compass. That's all right. Look, when we look get at your, the tank, if you're in a the, 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 the tank has okay. a compass. Yeah. If you look at your group, yeah, you'll have a compass and you'll see the degrees that you're looking at. On Very your shack handy. tack HUD, there'll be the degrees at the top of your shack tack HUD when you're in a vehicle looking around. Alright, okay. next crew. WCB. Um, you were going to explain oh, why that took a second to explode. Yes, some vehicles might be destroyed the second they get hit, but it takes time for them to cook off. Meaning. Don't fire a second round for a few seconds just to make sure you're not wasting any ammunition on an already destroyed target. Unless it's a tank and it's got its gun pointing at you. Yeah, unless it's, unless Gunner, it's a really PTR big tank. 90 bearing 160. A load, heat round. Scene, heat loaded. Gun aim. Aimed. Fire when ready. Fire. Target hit. Good effect on target. Vehicle to. Uh, disabled. Vehicle destroyed, well done. Great job, crew dismount. Alright. That was good. Next ones. Rogue, do you want to sit yeah. in uh, Lotus? I'll help. Yeah, I'll sit in Lotus. Tank first, then turn the engine off. Thanks, Artie. Oh, I'm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go next. Yeah. I'm gonna have to listen to a fucking V18 diesel. Kiss, kiss. I have to listen to your mouth. Oh. Bro. Oh. You want to turn that tank around? Yeah, for someone to go for that <laughs> target. Yeah. How much burning shit? It is going gunner out of you two. I got yes. these. Yeah. I, oh, well, I think we should just done a 180 and hit that tank. Gunner, target. <laughs> just over one, pressure. One, one, zero, east, south, east, Botnik. Gun ain't moving. That's concerning. That's very concerning. Gun and machine gun. Find it. The degrees will be right above your shack tack, your little mini map. Why are you looking at his ass? Degrees. One, one, zero. He fancies that shit. Just bear with him. Probably he hasn't played before, guys. Oh, he's yeah. so confused. He hasn't seen, played much, alright, motherfuckers? Calm the fuck down. Man. That's why we're doing Look. this, guys. Give him some time. Bearing one one zero, medium. Look up a bit. Medium rare. Could be his view distance. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> What's his view distance at? That's alright. Uh, Bluey, he's got the target now. Oh, no, he doesn't. Alright, so tab is your ranging. So when you're looking at the target, press tab. Alright, load, heat. You do realize you have an intercom in the vehicle, correct? Yeah, yeah, got no, once you let them, I want them to do it over short range so everyone else can hear. Ah, right here. Apologies, I'll shut up now. That's a good point, He gets a cookie. Yeah. Bro! Yeah. Loaded. Fire when ready. Hey. Hey. Hit. Great effect on target. Crew dismount. 
Bit of time. There we go. Good fucking shot. All right, so everyone, listen up real quick. Um, obviously. TNT just needed like a few seconds to get used to it, and that was only a Vodnik. So, in a mission, wouldn't have been the worst of situations. It would have been alright. Maybe a few infantrymen would have died, but you know, at least the tank would have been intact. If that was a tank, that would have been a lot, that needed to be a lot quicker. I'm not having a go, I'm just saying, that needs to happen pretty fast. As soon as your commander gives you a bearing and says fire at will, you need to be able to shoot in the next five seconds. That is really critical especially if you go up against other tanks because if you don't do that die. in the next five seconds you die instead of the other tank yeah yeah if you want anyway next yeah, group yeah i got a suggestion with that uh, yep hold hold Cannons. hold Cannons have a tendency to zoom fully in so they can see what's in front of them but it narrows your field of view quite dramatically so if the commander calls a bearing zoom out so you can see the big picture first then zoom in and fire that's a great tip guys yeah tunnel vision is a thing especially in tanks keep that in mind and on that, you'll notice in your little vehicle radar, when you are zoomed in, the little field of view thing gets really narrow. So always keep looking at that. Like you look at Shark Tech, the CVR information, keep glancing at it because you might forget that you zoomed in. So keep aware. All right, crew of this tank, there are two D-30s placed down. I need you to find them. I need you to eliminate them quickly. D-30s, if you don't know TNT, are... Um... Like in, pla in place guns. Any yeah. tank on the artillery. artillery. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did uh, uh, see that. My, my naked was at bearing uh, zero. I'm a crazy. Yeah, off to yeah. the distance towards the east of the east. Yeah. You're more likely to die from yeah. the oh. than you are. Spotted them earlier. Oh, lost target. Seen bearing zero nine four, distance <laughs> one 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 one. Yeah, zero nine four. Load HE and fire when ready. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he was ready. It's no head cheater, we said. It was good. It was. Uh, Explosion. next target is just next to it. Same bearing, same distance. Fire when ready. Very good. Let's muck around. Very good. Great effect on target. Crew dismount. They both blew up, right? Who was the gunner? Ah, uh, yeah. Nice yeah, shooting. Sure. You're a good shot. Crew, who was the gunner? Jazzy. That was Jazzy. Who was the commander? Guesty. Alright, that was that was textbook. That took about less than 30 seconds for you to find the target, acquire the target, range the target, and then shoot the target. All under 30 seconds. Really, really good. Well done, guys. Well done. Any other crews left? Alright, I'll take that as a no. Alright, guys, you all did pretty well. I mean, overall, no one really failed this. Um, one thing to keep in mind when gunning is just a few things I'll say, and then we're pretty much done. Uh, overpressure is a thing. If you have friendlies to the left, to the right, or in front of your turret, and you fire over them, you will kill them. If you can, try and avoid that. If you can't, well, too bad for the infantry. But, that is not an excuse, it's still friendly fire, technically. If you can avoid it, and it's not a high priority target like a T-90 looking straight at you, move. Move the tank or tell the infantry to move. One of the two. Usually it's better for the infantry to move because the tank is a bit more exposed, it's a big target. And the infantry can move easily out of the way to the left or the right. But just keep that in mind. You can always... Okay, I said earlier turning out is a very bad thing. But an Abrams isn't a closed vehicle. You can't talk to people outside of your tank if you're inside the tank. The commander can in that instance turn out, tell the infantry to get the fuck out of the way, and then fire the turret. That is always an option. Another thing is, if you're driving... We're gonna uh, just uh, there's a few tips I'm gonna give you and then we're pretty much done. If you're driving, you can get into third person and start looking for targets as well. If you're in first person as a driving position, you you can see fuck all. You can see pretty much five meters ahead of you and pretty, you have no peripheral vision at all. You basically have tunnel vision as a driver. But we have enabled third uh, third person just so we don't crash into each other because armor is armor and armor is strange. Um, and if you're in a team. driving, if, yeah, go ahead. Third person yeah. fear is for, for dickheads. Don't use it. Brutal. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. If you need it because you're operating in really close proximity, because it's only got a forward view rather than the side views that are in the driver's seat, use it. If you're the gunner, you're a moron because you can't hit dick within the third person. If you're a commander, you're even more of a moron because you can look around everywhere anyway. So only use it sporadically to go, oh, wait, yeah, I'm in the right spot. Cool. Back into normal. Don't it's sit good. in third person constantly or shit will go horribly wrong. You'll die and then everyone will complain. Yeah. 
Yeah, third person is Don't. really only meant for drivers. If you're in the commander slot or the gunner slot, you have way better vision because you have different modes of vision, which a driver does not. I got a question. Answer. Um, yes. Is that pretty Reading. accurate to real life, the vision that you get through the driver's seat? I oh. believe so. No? No. no. That, no. That's the, the uh, literal only reason we've enabled third person is so the driver can quickly check because in an actual Abrams, you have front left and front right and degrees of side view as well. There's multiple portholes and it's not just the one. Cool. Cheers. That's not accurate. That's the only reason we have it. Otherwise, yeah, we just wouldn't have it because we don't fucking need it. Yeah, real life is a lot different than armor. I mean, not a lot different. Armor does try and simulate it and they do a pretty okay job at it, but Obviously, I'm not here to teach you how to drive a tank in real life. If you want to do that, you can go to the army. I'm just here to tell you what to do if we're in a mission and you're, if you find yourself in a tank and you know what to do and you at least know some basics. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? Blind CV one. question. All right, so blind. Blind, so blind to the first. Blind, go. Um, there is a loader's position. How much difference does it make to the performance of the tank if you have someone there? It's optimal to have a loader, but usually it's not necessary. It is a bit faster. You do load. You can load different types of rounds, and you can load. Uh, you can reload faster. But a three-man crew is sufficient for a tank. You don't need a four-man crew. Um, some, some, and this is a purely technical side note. Some modded vehicles need a loader, or the lo reloading takes minutes. But we don't use any of them. And when, like, when the ADF pack line come rolls out, that'll be a thing. But that's always designated by the tank. You will know if you need a loader, it will be you have a loader. Take it, be a loader, sort of thing. Otherwise, just assume it's not that much different. Okay, uh, CB, you had a question. Yes, um, with this tank, this is the Cup M1, is it? Yes, correct. Does this tank in particular have any uh, lock-on countermeasure, like to alert you that you're being locked on by anti-tank weaponry? No, oh, because most anti-tank weaponry that locks onto you uses your heat signature, and tanks usually don't have a way to uh, tell you that yeah, you're being locked on. They that? do, however, have uh, smoke countermeasures. So if you press C in a commander slot, you will pop smoke out of your tank. Very handy if you want to defend infantry in front of you from fire or yourself. Uh, most things can't lock on through smoke, so if you need to make a quick getaway, you pop smoke, you retreat, and you drive backwards, obviously, and you get the fuck out of there. Because as soon as you see anything that can lock onto you, you're basically dead. Like a javelin, uh, I'm not sure, other stuff like a titan, those things, they're, they're pretty much, the, they're a death sentence. And uh, those are the things you need to eliminate first, or you need to get the hell out of there, either way. Uh, also be advised, if you're in a commander slot or a gunner slot and you have a machine gun, that also auto-ranges. Auto-ranging works for every single thing on that tank except for the loader's machine gun, which is just the M240 on top. That doesn't really auto-range, but everything else does. So just be aware of that when you shoot infantry at range with your M2 or uh, your Coaxel. That does do the same thing as well. Any other questions? How do we get out of this chicken shit outfit? I hadn't typed it in yet, mm, bastard. Fucking Good what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I hope that, would, that, that covers it. I'm pretty sure that covers the basics. Obviously there's more advanced stuff to this, but I'm, guess, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll learn more by playing than actually doing this in sort of training environment. Right. Yeah, I, I will say just on a staff point of view, that the trainings are fantastic. It gives you a very good basis to work off. But I'd advise on the, the other random missions during the week, if there's tanks and you want to jump in them, jump in them. Practice. Get really used to it because using it in mission is very different to this. It's a lot more pie stress crap going horribly wrong. So just get some practice in. You'll also just find that practice. you'll have a lot more freedom as a tank commander when you're in a mission. Because tanks operate as their own unit. You're not usually part of a section. Sometimes you have a second tank, and then you have a lead tank, and they decide what's happening. But most of the time, tanks are very independent. They get to make a lot of their own choices, because usually a commander in the tank has a better grasp of what's around him and what's dangerous to him than someone who's, I don't know, sitting somewhere else as an infantryman. So tanks do have a high degree of independence. got to make use of that. If... If you say, I don't know, if you're like in this desert map, for instance, there isn't a bunch, there isn't a lot of cover out here. And if the commander decides, I want to be behind that hill because I'm turret up there, then that's his choice. And that's a good choice because that way the tank stays alive and you still have the asset. So if you're in a tank, get used to a high degree of independence, but you need to be able to use that independence to your advantage, as in getting the best positions for your tank, eliminating the most high priority targets, and so on and so on. 
Alrighty. Um, I, is that the end, Jaeger? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, the pretty pretty much yes or pretty much no. <laughs> pretty much yes. Okay. Um, we are going to fire up the Normandy LRM test bed fun hilarity and AI testing thing after this. So you're more than welcome to stick around and shoot things in and around the face. Some people were on it before, so they will be away from the uh, Normandy in a very different location. If you weren't on it before, just gear up and hold because uh, resident pilot, if he's going to be joining us, will be picking everyone up and taking them back to the Normandy so we can reorg and then do a tasking or something. It will be insanely difficult, just as a warning, the AI are insane. So feel free to it stick creeps. around, but yeah, be ready to give me feedback and say if the AI were mean and doing bad, bad things to you. Yeah, Am I going to be um, able to...